I'm in my home time of Scarborough this week and we've had some challenging weather today. There's been wind, rain, breaks in the cloud, all within minutes of, minutes of each other. So today I thought it was a perfect opportunity to do some long exposure photography. When I'm taking long exposures at the coast, it's critical uh, that uh, they're conducive to long exposures. So the things that I'm looking for in long exposure photography are textures, simple objects within the scene, and to see how the clouds are going to form with long exposures and the, how the sea is going to react with the elements within the scene. I think that's really critical in this type of photography, and I think that's what leads to great compositions and images. Quite excited about this one. The sky is looking absolutely fantastic. Um, I'm actually in manual mode, and I'm uh, I'm going to use my uh, my trigger to fire the image off. Um, I'm at about two two minutes and thirty seconds with this ten stop filter on. The clouds are really some really nice colour in these clouds, and it's reflecting into the sea. So I think that's going to really make the image look lovely as well. But the, uh, there's a lot of movement in these clouds here. And that's really going to be the, um, the factor in this image, uh, as well as the colours that are reflecting off the sky into the sea here. I think that's really going to make this image lovely. I've made it, the composition simple, as I said. There's nothing cluttered in the image. Um, I've got some beautiful textures in this wall area here, and I've taken the, I've taken this hillside out, and this wall is leading right up to the horizon there. The S-Bend is all within this sea area, so it's not intersecting the, the horizon, which is really important. Yeah, really love this. So I'll pop it on the screen for you in a second and see what you guys think. Right guys, I think I've got uh, another image that's going to might work with these long exposures. Um, where I've been um, checking this last image, just up here, I think there might be a composition up here on top of this with the railings and the sky and the sea. So I'm going to pop up there um, see how that, uh, that composition is going to work, if at all it does work. So let's uh, pop up there. Dog, bag, <laughs> vlogging camera, tripod, <laughs> dog's lead. It's all happening. So, I think that last image really worked well. Um, it's a great, lovely uh, composition. Uh, I have seen it before, to be fair, but I've never photographed it uh, with a long exposure. So I thought it worked really well, especially in the conditions that we've got at the minute. It really worked well. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to get to the top of the hill and then uh, I'll be with you in a second. Uh, yeah. It's, this, this area is, I don't know if you're aware of Scarborough, this area is where the uh, hotel fell into the sea. Um, and near the, uh, the old, uh, old outside swimming pool. Uh, so it's like a semi-circular shape, uh, the part that I'm walking on now. So, yeah, I'm going to stop here. Try and set it up. So this is it. This is what I'm looking at here. This, this, this part here. It's very simple. Um, so I'm going to be using 
this semicircular uh, sem uh, <clears throat> ground here uh, with these railings, the sea and the sky. Uh, another uh, long exposure. So, yeah. the light, the light in the sky is really beautiful. Um, I've probably got about half an hour left until sunset. So, uh, I'll quickly sort this composition out and then I'll run you through it. So, yeah, I've got my uh, shot set up. I'm just being careful with these railings on the uh, on that wall there that they're all lined up and uh, they're spaced out evenly at uh, either side of the composition. Um, I'm using these lines that are in the uh, on this surface here, so the intersections are even at each side of my composition, um, and that the middle line that's running through this uh, this surface here is. Uh, straight as well so it's very simple but you've got to be critical with uh, where you're putting your elements within this simple scene so it works properly so it's not unbalanced so I'm very similar to what I was down at the other composition with the fact that I'm at f13 I've got a, a 10 stop filter on it I'm in bulb mold bulb mold and manual mold I'm slightly higher um, in the fact that my exposure is going to be around three, four minutes now because of the lights uh, gone down a bit. Even though I've, um, I'm at f8 now, um, whereas down there I was at f13, it's still giving me an exposure time of about three, three minutes, just over three minutes. So, yeah, quite like this, very simple. Um, it's got texture in it, it's simple, simple and uh, some great clouds in the sky there. So. I'm going to take this shot and as, as always I'll pop it on the screen for you. Well, I hope you like those two little images. I love doing long exposure photography. It's uh, one of my favourite genres of photography. You just never know what's going to uh, pop on the back of your uh, LCD screen. That's what I love about it. So, um, so I'm going to head back now. Uh, the light's uh, just about gone. Um, so uh, I hope to see you on the next video, all being well don't know where I'm going to be from one day to the next. <laughs> I know I'm doing a, a trip to the Isle of Aris again in uh, October um, so I'm hoping to do that but there'll be a, a few more adventures before then. In fact uh, this weekend um, I've, not, uh, I've not had my fill of uh, heather so I'm going to go to the Peak District and try and do some more heather in bloom with a bit more success this time. So I uh, hope you can join me for that one. Uh, please subscribe. Thumbs up would be great. And uh, I'm hoping to see you on the next one. You take care of yourselves. I'll see you later. Bye.